Hi, and welcome to SeaTech. My name is Osa Johansson, and in this video, I will show you how to properly connect a battery charger to your vehicle. In the past, we always recommended to connect the red positive clamp to the positive pole on the battery and the black negative clamp to the negative pole on the battery. This will still get your battery charged, but we no longer recommend this. Most modern vehicles have a battery management system, or a BMS, that is mounted on the negative pole on the battery. The BMS analyzes the state of charge of the battery and reports it back to the vehicle. This helps the vehicle to use more battery power and less fuel, which lowers its CO2 emissions. The problem with connecting the clamps directly to the battery poles is that we are bypassing the BMS, so that the BMS doesn't know that the battery is being charged, which can result in certain systems in the vehicle not working as it should. Eventually, the BMS will figure out that the battery has been charged, but that can take hours. So how do we connect the charger? If you can find any recommended charge point or recommended jump start connections in your vehicle manual, use those. If not, check under the hood for a connection point with a red mark or a plus sign. That's where you should attach the red positive clamp. This could be on the battery itself. Then check for a connection point marked with a minus sign and connect the black negative clamp there. If you can't find a negative connection point, connect the black clamp to earth point, which is somewhere metallic without paint and that is not aluminum. Once you've connected your CTEC charger to a power outlet, it's easy to see if you've connected it properly. If the charger starts its charging process, you're good to go. You will have to alter your connections if the charger doesn't start its charging process or if it shows a red error message. Please check out the instruction for your specific charger model to see what this looks like. Remember, if you know that you have connected the clamps properly and the charging process still doesn't start, the battery may be too discharged for the charger to recognize it. If you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.